Well, <clears throat> this is something a little bit different. When I first saw a picture of this, I didn't actually know what it was. <laughs> so, but after a bit of research, it, uh, it did become apparent. And um, I, I don't think it's actually easy to guess what this is from, from, from just looking at it. I mean, it's obviously a mechanical device. It doesn't have any motors attached to it, but it has a crank wheel on it. And we'll let it come round and then I'll we'll use the old Red Bull can to give you some idea of its uh, actual physical size. Right, we stick that in there. There you go. Yeah, this is this is quite a large, you know, quite a, quite a large thing. Whatever what, whatever it is. And uh, <coughs> yeah, very very interesting. I've been after one ever since I discovered them, which is quite a while now. And uh, they do come up on eBay now and again, but they're generally very expensive. This one is a complete apart from there's a small tray which is used to catch the debris that comes off of this thing when it's when it's when it's being used that's missing on this one but i'm fairly certain i can fabricate a replacement uh, we'll let it come round the tray fits in here and it's removable so that you can just chuck the debris away so what is it <laughs> well officially this is a jupiter 2 pencil pointer this is a pencil sharpener Talk about over the top mechanism for sharpening a pencil. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you know, anything as quite as complicated as this for sharpening a pencil, but it's still a very interesting uh, bit of engineering. There's not, I don't know an awful lot about these. They were made by a company and I'm gonna probably pronounce this wrong. Uh, Gull and Harbeck company from Hamburg in Germany. And they first started production of these in 1910. So this is probably quite an old, old bit of kit. This one is in, is in pretty good condition. Uh, obviously there are various parts of it that, that are quite rusty and I'll need to strip it down, de-rust those. I'm not gonna do too much with the main body. Let's just zoom in on that so you can have a look because there is some Pretty much all of the original uh, writing that's on the main body is in, is in, is there, and I don't want to remove it by you know attempting to repaint it or anything like that. But certainly we can we can have a look at the uh, let's uh, have a look at the little there you go. Um, but certainly we can take off take off a lot of I think the mechanical components and get those de-rusted and, cl and cleaned up. There's an awful lot of gunge and, and, and uh, muck, particularly around the gearing here and, and at, this, at this end, a lot of, that can be cleaned off without doing any, any damage to the, to, the, to the other metalwork parts. So we'll have a look there, you can have a look at uh, There you go. So yeah, it's a lovely, lovely bit of kit, uh, and a fascinating mechanical device. What we'll do is we will come back out a bit. I will uh, stick a pencil in it for you and I'll show you how it supposedly works. Okay, one standard crappy pencil. Now basically the, the end you're gonna sharpen goes into this hole here, like that. Then this slides, this end, and you basically slide this up and locate the rear end of the, of the pencil into here, like that. Let's push that. There we go. So that's the pencil installed. And then it's a simple matter of uh, cranking the handle whilst applying pressure. This is what these little um, rods stick up. They're so that you can, you've got something to, you can press on this, this part here and then apply pressure to the pencil pushing it into the cutter so i'll i'll take it off of the turntable for this because it's, it's going to move around a bit otherwise you basically you apply pressure to this end by pressing on that and then you rotate the handle whilst applying pressure and this is the cutter here and this is cutting and sharpening the pencil. What is fascinating is that, the, that this, turning this rotates this shaft, which rotates this gear, which actually turns the pencil as well. So I think you can probably see that happening. Yeah, 
yeah, so you get the principle of the thing. And then obviously your rubbish falls out here and also here and runs down into what would be a tray there. So yeah, that's it for the first look anyway. I need to, as I said, uh, do some re um, renovation on this, restoration. Basically just cleaning and de-rusting. I think that's all that this needs. This, this it, it all comes apart, uh, looking at it uh, briefly, it just it all comes apart quite easily. So we'll take it apart, all the gears and everything, get it cleaned up. But um, yeah, talk about over the top. <laughs> piece of mechanical engineering just to sharpen a pencil but I think it's fantastic so uh, yeah we'll get on and do that and then uh, uh, hopefully show you what it looks like when it's stripped down and, um, and, and cleaned up and then put back together again